Welcome to this edition of CPWN. I'm Clarence Ponsler. We're looking at this clock and it's very early, only 4 a.m., 4.40 specifically. And the reason I'm doing this video at such an early time is it's dark. You know, taking a look outside, we're gonna walk to the front door, see these windows right here. I'll discuss in just a minute. Now, I'm at the doorstep. You can see these flood lamps that were recently installed. And this is important because right now, the windows have plastic on them. I'm not gonna relock it. It's going to be wake up time for work in about a couple of hours. But here's one of the windows. Still have the plastic on and it's not that bright at all. You can see that sliver of light. Let's take it to another window. And with the plastic, it mutes out the light that shows through. I just pinned the camera to the left and it's nothing but pitch darkness. I'm gonna take you into my bedroom You can see the window and the filtered light. And you would be looking towards the closet. Now, when the plastic comes off, we're going to do an after video. Just to give an idea how much light does get through these windows. And you see a big difference between plastic windows versus normal windows. Now I'm going to show you what the Welcome to Pond Australia sign looks like. Well, here is the Welcome to Pond Australia sign on the window. It is placed inside of my apartment, so luckily I didn't have to take it down when the building was painted. However, with the plastic, as you can see in this window, it's blurred out. And there will be some major changes coming once this plastic comes off. The sign will still be there, but there'll be other add-ons. And this window and this window will not be spared either. We're now 24 hours later. The plastic has been removed. And it's very hard to see. So this would have been looking at the kitchen. But let's take a good look at these windows. This is from the living room of my apartment. And can you see the areas where I have the signs? We'll look at the other side of it in just a moment. So here's looking at the TV set. This would have been looking into the bathroom or at least towards the bathroom. It's not much. Now I've put another decoration on the other side of this window. This is the bedroom window, by the way. And now this is looking towards the closet. See these lights? See the rays of those lights? That's the difference between plastic on and plastic off. This would have been looking into the closet, not as much looking into the closet wall. But you can see the bigger difference between plastic on and plastic off. So here is the Welcome to Pond Strayus sign, the 30th birthday version that I was talking about that was blurred out because the plastic during this paint remodeling, but it now has a couple of new friends. There's the Indiana state flag along with the Pond Australian flag. And then read this. It says, welcome, vigorously, this is still South Mississippi, to Indiana. And it says this, we'll return to Mississippi after a 20-something year old lady sings advanced Pond Australia love. I'll discuss about that song in a later video. Right now, let's talk about the other decor. Well, here's another welcome to Indiana themed decorative item on this window. I told you the other two windows would not be spared. 
See this window? Not spared either. <laughs> Simply because a lot of the Facebook comments and replies, beautiful sunny day by the way, have been mainly from my relatives that still live in Indiana today. I also do a market for Ocean 7, not Ocean 7, excuse me, Weather Vision that is based out of the lower peninsula of Michigan. As you can see, the rest of Building 5. And not that much comments and feelings from the Gulf Coast region. So here is Building 5 after it is all set and finished. Beautiful day ahead of us. And this is at least the south side. We were the last building, Building 5 was the last building on the east side of Palm Isle to experience the changeover to this turquoise teal. And there's the blue fitness center with the sun starting to rise. So now we're towards the western end of Palm Isle answering the next question. Who's going to be the first building on this end of the complex to get the transition from yellow to turquoise teal? Well, it's been about 15 hours later. And look closely at this building, Building 10. You see a little, you see the plastic waving on that window? They're the next victims to go turquoise teal. And the first on the western end of this apartment complex. Now, we'll get you back inside of my apartment to show one last colorful scene. So when the plastic was removed, I wanted to show some crazy effects with my party lights. That would be my strings and my bulbs that are placed in this apartment that can change the colors. So I did a rainbow effect for this stream tonight. And I happened to wear my rainbow stockings and... Look how the colors change with, which, with each effect. Take a good look at them for a minute. Just one last thing before we close this video out as we transition out of the plastic due to the paint remodel to back to normal with the new paint job. And thank you so much for watching this edition of CPWN. Clarence Ponser saying, have a great day or evening if it is nighttime. Goodbye.